So today I'm going to try something new on the channel. Yeah. Now I suggested to Scout Crafter he should highlight um somebody once once a month or you know it, it sort of came out my mouth and I said it. And the thing is with that is don't ask anybody to do something that you're not willing to do yourself. Hmm. So I'm and and you'll see in a minute why why I've chosen uh, this this particular channel at this particular moment. Uh and something might spark your interest, something might give you a oh yeah, I know who will uh, and and so you've been watching uh, the, the the new you've seen me in a few comments talk about time flies in the shop James from time flies in the shop now this is his channel um and so I'm going to just purely highlight the channel and what he does and how he does it and where he goes and what makes it so interesting for me so if you're you know uh, what's the saying what's the saying you're you're my friend's friend or you're my enemy's enemy <laughs> you know if you're uh, if you're my enemy if you're my friend's my enemy's enemy that means you're my friend so similar interests do you know what i mean so i watch all his films and we were watching the uh, the steam train the last one we saw on bbc train and you saw me i ring the firm hopefully i was going to get a walk around but Obviously, it's already gone. So, and so, this is the 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 person. Now, what does James time flies in the shop? And I've, I've pretty much w w watched most of his films, and he does that all that sort of look. He goes to like uh, charity shops. See this one here. That's going to a, a charity shop that he sees that he's been to, and you know. Uh, various things people give him stay. see that humanity habitat for humanity that's in the over here it, we call it some sort of a charity shop that he pops into and sometimes picks up a few goodies from there now see this he goes to steam shows now if you go to steam shows over here it's very interesting watching now James lives in Ohio, yeah, in America. So I love and what I like about what James does, it's it's like walking. You know, if it was a lovely summer's day and you were to go with a friend and walk around, well, he treats you like that. It's like walking by his side when he goes and looks at these tractors, especially if you've got a big television. You know, if you can get your YouTube on your television, it's a bonus and the way he takes his films is you may as well be there you may as well be walking down the side you can feel the heat of the nice american sun shining upon you and you're walking around as if you were walking around a show here and you're looking and you know you're passing comments and you know and he he grows grows garlic look and again, he picks up tools. We're we're all sort of vintage toolies type of thing. This was a sh sh this was a he'd found. I don't know if you've seen me, but he'd found a, a an American uh, hardware store. You know, um, a DIY store, and and this is absolutely fascinating. Going round this shop that had been there for a hundred and fifty years. That is well worth a watch. You know, well, well worth a watch. And, you know, as always, when you put a film on, sometimes uh, it's not so good. Uh, sometimes you put a film on and you think this is going to be fantastic, but it turns out it doesn't get many views. And then other times you put a film on and you think, well, I'll put it on anyway. And, um, oh, now, oh, yeah, that was a comparison he'd found you know, I do the, the Buck and Hickman books. Well, he'd found a comparison to a an equivalent sort of American version type of Buck and Hickman book because I'd sent him a, a Buck and Hickman book um, that we got from over here, which it all fired off. 
Ben started it. I bought it. Scoutcrafter did a film about it. Um, no, Scout. He put out. Let's have a look now. You see, there is a there is a Buck and Hickman book film here somewhere, and he does a film about the Buck and Hickman book. So Scoutcrafter, see, there we are. Look, so he I put a film on. No, Ben put a film on Tool Addict, and then I put a film. on, I got the book. Off eBay, one of the Buck and Hickman books, and then I had a reply back. Uh, James put a film on what he could get over there in America, and then Scrapcrafter saw it, uh, and then he put a film on about it. It was fantastic. It was like a a theme that went through it. But anyway, this is this is James's page, and sometimes he does things at home with his with his son messing around in his son's workshop it's it's well worth and sometimes he'll find something you know he's dropped onto a garage sale there look um but the he's see so we are we're at another engine show 21 look walking around a steam engine show so it's interesting to see what what things are like in in different countries uh See, look, he's been to a yard sale there, which is, I'm guessing, the equivalent to car boots over here. So when you see these films, I also look around at what he's not looking at. I, I try to look at everything. It's fantastic. It's in, If you want to know what it's like for an ordinary person like thee and me, oh, now, see this homestead. Now, that's an amazing, amazing film. The Colonial Homestead. And that's the second film he's done. You want to go and that's again walk around the shop. It is, but it sells uh, vintage, um, vintage uh, uh, from the oh, what are they called? The do you know the ones that go around in horses and buggies? Really, really old fashioned shop. The the people, uh, the Mormons. This shop is a, a Mormon's tool shop. <laughs> highly, highly recommended. You go and have a look at that. If you want to open your eyes and see how the other, what it's like living in real America. You know, we've all been on holiday and we've all done the resorts and we've been to Disneyland. We've been to, you know, um, the, what's the other one called? Um, uh, you know, Cape Canaveral, all that sort of a thing. But I like to know, if you want to know what it's really like living as a, you know, um, an ordinary standard sort of person like you and me, like we are, have a look at this. It's absolutely fantastic what he's picked up. Yeah, and very, very interesting. So I'm going to um, lead by example. Uh, I'm going to do one of these every month. I'm going to recommend somebody. This is when he found a drill. If you look at this one, I think this is the first time I get a mention. Uh, he's found a you know a hand drill, and um, the reason he's he's seen it and picked it up is because he's seen one of my films about a hand drill, so that he thought, do you know what? I think I'll have a hand drill as well. So yeah. <laughs> so he's picked it up. So if you want to see how the ordinary bog standard similar interests as in vintage tools and bits and pieces and fixing things up, well, um, I highly recommend, or it could be that one with the drill in it, one of them anyway, I highly recommend and once a month I'm going to highlight a, uh, a particular channel and we're going to go through all his films. I know it's going to take you all bleeding day to look all through these films. But it's, oh, this is Scoutcrafter Challenge. Yeah, we've got one to do. But you see Scoutcrafter Challenge. Uh, he, he, we have to make a toolbox, yeah. Uh, and bits and pieces. And there's one going at the moment, a Scoutcrafter Challenge. And then he found a, an unusual uh, socket drive look. Much of the much same thing, but the you know an American version and and what's available and what's it like over there, 
absolutely fascinating absolutely interesting so put in put in your your um search in youtube time flies in the shop can you see it it's up there look time flies in the shop you put time flies in the shop so that's this month's uh well we'll call it january it's not it's the end of january so we'll call this one's february february's uh highlighted channel of the month it comes highly recommended um take your time have a look through the films if you're interested in steam fairs if you're interested in uh you know vintage tool type shops over there that habitat for humanity is fantastic the one that he finds in the middle of the city it sounds like it's in the middle of the city he finds another shop there uh that's another fantastic film where was it now it's in here somewhere oh there we are that's that's a, a fascinating walk around that is fascinating walk around that one and all of everything else you know much of a muchness and it's great walking around the um the steam fairs uh, and the traction shows engine shows they call them slightly different things over there yeah so this month's recommendation if you're into all that sort of a thing then have a look at time flies in the shop <laughs>